what a beautiful beautiful day to go car booting welcome back ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and welcome your beautiful faces to a brand new episode today we're in brighton don't worry we've not made this special trip for this car boot to brighton but we're actually doing a car boot um we're in brighton for family reasons so we thought why not try and hit a local car boot on the way back through to home so without further ado smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here and let's get in to the first car boot of the year the first car boot of the year oh. All good condition, aren't they? How much got in these? Uh, four pounds. And these ones? Yeah, so. And these ones? Those shoes are 150 quid, they're a fiver. They're from Vago. So what's that? Four, eight, 13. So we'll take them three, I think. How much you got your these black jeans, believe ones? Quid, them ones? So what's that up to? 13, 14, 15, 16 ish. How much you got in the shirt? Sorry? Um, yeah, we'll take that. Should be an easy, like, 25. Nice little camel adventure shirt. Happy days. Two pound. Two pound for the All Saints. Bargain. We'll do that. I'm hoping she'll do four pound on these Levi's as well. It's a bit different. Could the Levi's also be four, these ones? Yeah. Yeah, spot on. So, literally just spent 50 quid flat on everything that you've just seen, plus more. Obviously, I probably won't catch everything on camera, but once we get back at home, uh, I will let you know in the hall what we have picked up, but what a cheeky little start. Oh, it does feel good to be back at the car boot. We've got some absolutely beautiful pieces in that first stall. We spent 50 quid in the first stall. Yeah, boy. Nice sort of velvet Russell and Bromley flats. Three quid? Yes, please. Interesting. How much got in the train, these ones? How much these? 15. 15. And them ones? Adidas. That's not good. Oh, yeah. If you like, you can't Okay. 15 pounds, probably just a little bit too much on the uh, expensive side. I feel like Jack Udi from Global Thrifters would be in his element here. Because there's a lot of this rusty things. A lot of rusty things I have no idea. What on earth I, uh, half of this stuff is? Caught me on. How much got in these? 15. Not sure what that mark is, to be honest with you. Probably not worth 15. No, I don't think so. Bad. I think they've just been worn a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, got him. Yeah. Add that in with that. And how much are your video games, mate? Oh, yeah, Take them two, I think. Oh, these are nice, but I think they're starting to come off at the sole. Lower Gore-Tex. I wonder if I can get them repaired. This is freaking great brand. Gore-Tex. Like, lowers that. Proper high quality as well. Um, I mean, it might not look at it, but it, trust me, it is. Probably have a little think. I tell you what, there's a lot of clothing here today. A hell of a lot of clothing. Yeah, questionable. But do we get there? Just a little receiver for some um, headphones. But a pound. Official Sony as well. Always look out for Sony stuff. Should we have to get like 20 quid for this? It's for, yeah, like I said, a pair of wireless headphones. So quid, I'm not even gonna barter on that. We're just gonna take it and be done with it. So they want 20 pounds for these Denon speakers. Really nice condition to be fair. But I think this time around, I'm just gonna leave them. Obviously Denon, beautiful brand. Just, yeah, not too, not too sure today. Eight pound, well spent. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the bargain of the day. And they're in date as well, 2024. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brighton, success. I thought it was pretty good, to be honest. Uh, I think we spent about a hundred pound. I think we've got about 20 quid left. We came out with 130, but spent 10 pound on personal stuff like cans of drinks and some chocolates. 
So what we're gonna do is we'll put a running total on the bottom of the left hand corner of this video. We spent 100 quid. Once I get back, we'll toss off everything we've picked up and see how much profit we can make from today's. So it's now been a couple of days since the Brighton car boot. Got the haul in front of me. I'm gonna do it slightly different. I'm gonna go through all the shoes in one go. I'm gonna go through all the clothing in one go. And I'm gonna go through all like the miscellaneous stuff in one go. So I'm gonna have it split into little mini hauls, but we'll have a grand total running down on the bottom left or the bottom right, depending on where I feel like putting it in the edit. So I think we spent, it's been a couple of days, I think we spent about £110 there or thereabouts. And OMG, we practically stole a lot of clothing from one store. It was uh, it was incredible, on stall. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. But anyway, flip you around and let's get with the trainers and the footwear first. So here we have all the footwear. We've only picked up six items of footwear this car boot, which is not too like us. We normally try and buy at least a minimum of 20 per car boot, but six quality, quality items. Let's start over here. So we have this beautiful pair of sort of pointed buckle, Russell and Bromley shoes. Really nice condition, really nice uppers, really soft. They were only three quid and we should be looking at about 40 pound back from them. We then have a couple of Ruby shoes. This is probably one that most people tend to sort of stick, a, stick away with, but I do pick them up. The more wackier designs, the better. They are pretty, pretty plain. This one obviously has a little bit more floral pattern, but still worth pretty decent money. They are very, very easy. Bread and butter items, probably 25 pound each. I've raved on about this brand for a few years now, you know, Sabagos. These are really strong sellers. They don't look too much, but they are worth a fair chunk of change. Probably looking at about £30 for these pair in particular. Uh, obviously, men's is probably worth a little bit more, uh, and a bit more fuller shoes are probably worth a lot more as well. But for the sake of this video, because they're pink and they are slightly boring and quite flat and quite plain, probably a nice comfortable 30 pounds but definitely be on the lookout for subargos definitely worth looking up when you're in the field we then have this absolutely beautiful pair of ted baker they've got a nice sort of bronze buckle at the back they have got a, probably a couple of inch heels they've got a nice sort of like gold underlay as well look at that it's pretty smart they are sherpa inline as well don't really tend to pick up too much Ted Baker stuff, but this really did caught me eye. The quality, nice, soft leather finishing should be an easy £30, if not more. Like I said, I will update the total in the bottom left-hand corner accordingly if I look at some solds while I'm editing. But yeah, at first glance, got to be an easy £30. We then have these stunning pair of Nike Fly Knit Vapor Maxes in a nice ruby red and sort of like a caramel colorway. Beautiful, beautiful pair. They are slightly worn more than I expected. However, for five quid, we were picking them up all day long. Absolutely beautiful pair. Five pound should be a comfortable 40 to 50 pound back from these so this year i really want to try and pick up some more weird and wonderful items we're gonna start off with this charizard owes us like a quid or two should be looking at about 15 pound from him nice decent condition he has got sort of like wings with wires in them that bend so you can sort of like depose them as you or whatever you want really basically a bit of a fail i know there is a monopoly on the nintendo wii that's worth about 12 15 quid uh, this isn't the one, it's probably worth about five. We then have this Sony infrared stereo transmitter. I believe it's for a pair of headphones. Um, and I will always be picking up any Sony accessory stuff. Sony obviously sells itself. It's a decent, decent brand. Everybody has something Sony probably in their house. And this is just a replacement receiver. That being said, paid a pound, should be looking at about 20 pound in return. We then have some vintage belt buckles. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. Absolutely love the Elvis Presley one. They are vintage, they are all dated. This is a first edition Elvis Presley belt buckle from 1977. This is a beast, this is an absolute thing of beauty. Should be looking at at least 20 pound. We paid a pound for the three. 
uh, and yeah the elvis presley one is worth about 20. we then have a 57 chevrolet a chevy from 1989 belt buckle and again it should be around about the 15 to 20 pound and the least valuable one is probably this one from 1991 made in england the bulldog buckle it's probably worth about 12 quid but only owes is 33p each so our money is definitely safe with this love the first edition elvis presley one for sure we now move on to the men's items of clothing that we picked up in today's car boots. Only three pieces of men's item, which is very, very strange indeed, but there's a hell of a lot of women's items that we did pick up. So let's get a wiggle on and go through the men's stuff. Now this item is proper, proper sick. Like it's a 1997, only issued to the staff of the TV show, Cheers. This is a beast, this is on a Onita Tag Power T 1997 and just look at this back print the Bull and Finch Pub what a back print it is single stitched as well you can tell by the, just one line of single stitch on the sleeve it's a thing of beauty it's an XXL like I said 1997 it's probably only worth about £30 I think we paid a couple of quid and I'm pretty sure everything that you're going to see from now on to the end of the video was bought from one stall. We literally practically stole things from there because the way she was pricing stuff was mentally cheap. Let's put it that way. It was incredible. I think we didn't spend any more than £4 on an item of clothing from now on till the end of this video. Anyway, we have this beautiful Safari Camel Trophy Adventure Wear shirt. Big, big money in these sort of stuff, the Adventure shirts. You can tell they're Adventure shirt, well, one by the label saying Adventure Wear, but they have sort of like a Safari feel if they've got two big front pockets. And believe it or not, should be looking at about £30 back from that. It's an absolute thing of beauty, really, really nice. Short sleeve, yellow, lemon colour, bish, bash, bosh. We then paid £3 for an XL Ralph Lauren long sleeve polo. It's got a big pony on the front, it's long sleeve, and it's got a huge embroidered number three on the back. I don't tend to pick too much Ralph Lauren stuff up, but when it's slightly different like this, long sleeve, custom fit, big pony, got another big, big number three on the back, a long sleeve as well. It just adds a little bit more value. Gonna put a, a list in estimation of about £25 for this. Decent condition, there is slight wear to the collar, but £25 I'll list it for, probably accept offers in and around the £20 mark. And like I said, the pile of women's clothing is massive. So strap yourself in, grab some popcorn, get a drink, and let's get cracking on with the women's. Again, £4 owes us a pair of black skinny Levi's. Should be an easy 20 to 25 pound. Now this is an absolute bolo and a half, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever see P and F Haggart Limited, it's definitely worth a little butcher's. Definitely stop at the field, have a little uh, look on eBay, have a look at sold. You'll be pleasantly surprised. This specific jacket, we can't find the same color, but we can find the same style and they are selling quite nicely for £50 minimum as well. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for this little brand here. Pure New Whirl, tweed woven by P&F Haggart. Talking about beasts, we have this beautiful, beautiful phase A. It's a bodycon dress, it's quite tight fitting. It has a beautiful lace feel to it too. Should be a comfortable £25. Phase 8, I see everywhere. And to be honest, me and my other half do sell this quite often. And uh, it sells really, really quickly and really, really strongly. Again, owes us four quid. Should be an easy 25. We then have a mint velvet, sort of like old school, sort of like Victorian style dress blouse thing. Don't really know how to describe it. It looks very Edwardian, very, very old school, uh, but it's pretty, pretty cool. Let's put it that way. Uh, should be an easy 25 pound again. And again, only poses four. Sticking with mint velvet, we have this beautiful sort of like wool tweed sort of checkered dress. Again, it's a bodycon dress. It's quite tight fitted. It is a UK size 11. There is a few bubbles here, there and everywhere, but nothing too bad at all. 
my camera seems to be picking it up a lot more than it is actually there so don't worry about the condition it is perfectly fine and again should be an easy 25 quid and look at these pair of beautiful levi jeggings they have got some absolute wacky design going on down the leg sort of like a floral pattern all across the leg all the way down to the bottoms of the leg absolutely crazy crazy design should be again a nice easy 20 pound and again oh, it's just four probably the wrong time of year now to be picking up coats and wool coats and duffel coats and all that stuff and all them coats and coats and coats but when they are only this one believe it or not guys cost us two quid two pound for an all saints duffel wool coat should be an easy peasy lemon money 50 smackaroonies back from this beautiful picker and again from the same store that we've got all the other women clothing from practically stole it it was incredibly cheap two pound into 50. i really really like this piece it's a bowden british tweed by moon the key word here guys is by moon so if you ever see this it's worth more money than the usual didn't realize bowden did uh moon tweed stuff until today but that being said bowden tick by moon tick tweed tick it's ticking all them right category materials what we want to be seeing we should be looking at a good comfortable 30 pound back from this beautiful beautiful piece absolutely stunning again nice bodycon dress really nice condition nice burgundy and navy really really happy with that that's a beast fish bash bosh and the last item is a karen millen dress look at wacky design that is it's got a beautiful twisted body uh sort of floral pattern throughout it's a beast it's beautiful it's gorgeous it's all them words that women want to be hearing it's a uk size 10 uh so slightly smaller but it still commands a decent decent price probably looking at a comfortable 25 pound back from that and that guys is the end there we have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls cats and dogs and rabbits thank you so so much for watching if you did enjoy that video please do me one huge favor smash the hell out of that like button like i said throughout the video we are trying to be picking up the different and unusual stuff this year just to enhance our knowledge around the reselling community. There's loads and loads of people that know loads and loads of things. So you can always learn off different people. So I want to be learning off them and then I can teach you guys. So I'll be picking up more women's stuff, more bric-a-brac stuff, more unusual items, continuously picking up the men's and the trainers because obviously that's what I know most about. Uh, but I do want to enhance my knowledge throughout the whole of the reselling side of the world. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I've been your boy Kieran and I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Boom.